Welcome back to Slick Plays and Chronicles, the first mage. Last time we defeated Lugash, got the Horn of Kynon, and then we had a bit of a crash. In this part, I've given Alrun the Horn of Kynon because you actually get plus six Trogador for holding on to that. So that's going to be kind of cool. Also, I have decided to give Rita the Staff of Lugash. Now you might be thinking, Loden's Sword is amazing. Maybe the Staff of Lugash is just as amazing. Truth is, I don't know. I've never seen anybody use this item. So, this is going to be a learning experience for both of us. Alright, now we're going to make our way back to uh, Ugarit. My main reason for recording right now, I actually didn't get into that white. Oh, never mind, I'm about to get to it right now. Oh, never mind. Different. Whoa, that staff looks cool. Alright, we're going to get Rita in there and take a look. Yeah, we didn't get into that white fight because I camped immediately after leaving this time. Uh, oh well, though. I mean, our levels are amazing right now, so I'm not too particularly worried about the lack of experience. We're we're do we're, I'm not we're doing pretty okay. Yeah, I really want to try out the staff. See, Rita. Okay, okay, doing pretty all right. Not too shabby, not too shabby. Actually, wait, didn't you? Yeah, okay. Uh, Abercan, you're so slow. God damn it, that looks cool. Both women have like the two, two of like the strongest weapons in the game. I love it. Uh, I'm not even mad, bro. Uh... Really, I couldn't kill. We're gonna call this like uh, part 52, 53, part dash five or something. Uh, just because. Because that one ended kind of abruptly. Okay, now hopefully, hope to God, we're not gonna fight any more monsters. Uh, we've effectively cleared out this entire desert at this point. If we get into any more fights, I'm gonna be upset. Uh, not going up there. I've already looked up there. Okay, yeah, I thought so. I haven't seen Ferris in a while. I wonder if he's okay. I wonder if there'll be any more... Uh, wait, I can't go under here? Okay, yeah, I thought so. I wonder if there'll be any more cutscenes with him or if we're just done with him for the game. I'm not sure. So yeah, we've effectively explored all of the. That was really the last major area we need to explore the the Jundar Desert. So we've now effectively explored the entire map. Pretty cool, considering how we started out with like a blank canvas. Oh boy, but I'll tell you, man, I'll be glad to be done with this desert. Cause oh shit, nobody needs this bullshit. No motherfucker need this bullshit. Whoa, what the hell? Who the hell are you? Stay back. You're a traveler. What are you doing here? Have you been fighting? I'm here, aren't I? Are you alone? The others wouldn't listen. They waited until it was too late. And then, when they couldn't have saved themselves, they didn't want my protection. What protection? A spell for those wise enough to pay. If you know a spell of protection, I'd like to hear it. Two gold coins. All right. A spell for when the monsters come. There's charms around the chimneys, there's water from the well. Or else my house will burn this night as all of the legends tell. The beam brings only darkness. The sword alone will judge. 
So magic brings the new age home in earthly flesh and blood. Good luck. Wait a minute. Time's up, sir. That's not a spell. You have the words. Move on. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, that was weird. Uh, you know what? Let's just get over to the fucking uh, city now. Oh, wow, there's still a lot of... Uh, a huge... Oh, wait, what's up there? Uh, up to both these places. Oh, shit. Oh, I shouldn't do this, but I'm gonna do it anyway. <sighs> Curiosity's getting the better of me. What can I say? Oh, fuck. Oh, God, they're all the way over there. Alright, that fight ended pretty easily. Um, let's see, what do I want to do with you now? Oh, you know what? You, you took a bit of a hit, so we're going to up your stamina some. These times. And all this for... What am I getting? Dexterity potion. Ooh, I need one of those. And healing potions that I don't need. Alright, I'm not gonna bother looking at that one because God knows it's probably gonna be the same thing. Let's just get the fuck over to to my boy, Zerathus. Let's finish this motherfucker up. Speeding up. What? Oh. Oh, Ferris! Kill! Now look! Kill, kill, kill. No. That's not it. Die, die, die. No. Eat, eat, eat. No. Repeat after me. Most powerful Ferris. Re eat after eat. Will you listen? Most powerful Ferris. Necromancer extraordinariness. Meat, meat, meat. Though we walk in the shadow, we hear and obey. Die, die, die. With you to lead us, eat, nothing defeats us. Kill? On to the battle. Die. Oh, come on. You listened to Shamsuck, didn't you? Eat, kill, die. I command you to listen. Trouble, human? Well... Just as I thought the worst would happen. A visit from a chaos, Captain. Sorry, I can't help you right now, Captain. No, I see you have your hands full. What do you want? The same thing your friend, the unnamed one, wanted. The staff. You must have realized the forces of chaos would show an interest in the staff of the necromancer. It never crossed my mind. You are naive. I hope for your sake you'll hand it over to me. What are you offering for it? Does your life have any value? Why don't you come back when my friend is here? We'll let you know what our lives are worth. I'm afraid another skirmish is not possible. Already the zombies are out of control. Why don't I speak to them for you? Listen, Captain. I don't know who you think you're talking to, but no one tells me what to do as long as I have this staff. Adventurers, you're all alike. I advise you to watch out for the lighter casts. It's a little too bright for some. Why I don't show you the light? Um, uh, now that I think about it, I'll start with that scrawny neck of yours. <laughs> no need to get bothered. <laughs> I'll give you the staff. Yes, I know you will. Fight, fight, fight. Aren't you both getting a terrible example for this poor zombie? Zombie, make, die, come now. He wants the staff. Zombie, do as I say. Kill them both. Oh, Jesus God. Okay, uh, this is what we're doing. We're doing this now. Okay, this is, uh, this could potentially 
and badly. By the way, I didn't actually know that the cutscene with Ferris was going to happen. I was just, I legitimately was wondering if we were ever going to see him again. <laughs> uh... Oh, shit. Starlight, oh, fuck me. Will it matter to the, to the one holding Loden's sword? Okay, okay. All right, I can live with that. Uh, can I kill you? Chaos Slayer killed. All right, excellent. Now, with the Staff of Lugesh, can my stupidity work? It does. Although Slayers were kind of susceptible to stupidity, I'm pretty sure. Oh, by the way, I got herbs. When I had to reset and play it all over again, I got herbs out of one of those chests. So we're doing pretty okay with herbs now. Uh, except we just used some here. Anyway, those, those zombies ain't gonna be shit. Um, let's kill you. Ooh, wow. Uh, and Rita. No, it's asking for too much. Load and start. Man, chaos should have been after this motherfucker the whole time. Also, I don't. Although I don't get what's up with this arena. Why isn't it the desert like the other ones were? Where's, where is he? Oh, there he is. Why the fuck's he all the way over here? Alright. I guess we can just clean up around here. What the hell? Not that it matters at all. Stabby stab. Oh, that wasn't enough? Fuck. Chaos Slayer killed. Nice. Okay, well that wasn't too bad. Um, get some stamina up, sure, what the hell. Alaran, what spells do we want to level up right now? Right this hot minute. Uh... Ooh. Oh my god, we got Wall of Bones level 10. Holy shit. I did not think we were going to max out Wall of Bones. Okay, well, then we're just going to... Uh, yeah, we, got, we maxed out Cheat Death as well. Can't max out Teleportation, though. Um, all targets... Oh, really? That wasn't... Ah, fuck it. Abakin. Stamina. Oh wait, I remember why we had all that now. It was because we got the fucking, uh, the thing. The, the Hornakainen. They gave us all that shit. There's the money. Wait, that's it? We're not gonna follow up with Ferris? Okay, I, I guess that's it for Ferris. Oh, god damn it. Fine, fuck you. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. Rita and Brenna both gained levels. Alrighty. Oh, wow. Abakin's still got a way to go until the next level. Um, wait, wait. Oh, well. Alright. I'm about sick of this desert. I have had it with this motherfucking... Oh. Alvin? What? Let's get out of here. I'm not going anywhere without the staff. Sorry, friend. The staff stays with me. We'll have to fight later, monsters. What the fuck? Did that actually work? Oh, hello. Leather cloak and gender leather. Okay. And a shit ton of money. I wonder if that would have worked if the other one would have worked better. Ah, fuck. Curiosity's getting the better of me. I'm gonna look over here. Huh? Oh, why did I do that? Why did I do that? That was so stupid. Why did I do that? Ugh. Okay. See, Rita, Rita, hang on. I want to. Can I. No, hang on. Can I just. 
spells do I need? I don't really need any other spells, is the thing. Alaran, teleportation level 10. Excellent. So we got 10 strength, teleportation, 10 cheat death, 10 wall of bones, 10 air shield. Not bad. Not bad if I do say so myself. Oh. Now we almost maxed out Solar Wrath, which we'll probably never use, but fuck it. I still want to know what's over here. Against my better judgment, I will find out. Okay, there actually is something over here, which is weird. If this just leads to nothing, I'll be so angry. It looks like a cave almost. Where am I? What the fuck? Oh my god, this does just lead to nothing. God, you fucker. All right, you know what? I will meet you guys at Zaratus's palace. Uh, I will meet you there. Here we are. Ooh, what's over here? This looks pretty. I didn't notice this the first time. Huh, doesn't look like anything significant. Alright. Um. Alright, let's just go and fucking do this. Alright, Zeranus. We did what you wanted. Now tell us where the fucking dragon is. One second. Back up the giant ass fucking stairs we go. Alright, Zeratus. We got. Glorious Alaran. I want to be the first to praise you. What bravery you showed in the barrel. And now I hear you have the cannon horn. Ravasat must be defeated. Brave squire, how long since I've heard those words? It is a story of the last age. There are many. Yes, but are they true? Alwyn, there are more truths in the plane than you can ever imagine. Did you make a bargain with Ravasat? I tried. So did Shamsuk. There's no bargain we can have with the chaos. You may be right, sir. But think, noble Alaran, of the times of the past. Those were the days when even the greatest of emperors had cause to fear. For ages I ruled Jandar and had no cause to be afraid. Then Ravasat found a flaw, a way to extend her power from the realm of chaos into ours. I knew a break in the mundane plane meant endless war, the destruction of us all. So I asked her to agree to just one kingdom, Jundar, where well, you would rule over all. It was the best way. What well, caused the desert? Sir, I am old now, but I remember the last age, when the sun was tender. There were flowers, bright flowers, even animals. I remember the rain. We were the Jundar of the stone drum, strong. Our clear eyes open, beyond death, without the soul, on the side of the stars. And when we spoke to the Red One, his answer was, always Zaratas. We rose everywhere, the greatest forest, the wider plains, the richest fields. We took and took, 
more deadly than even I can believe. In the cities we conquered, we stared, wondering about those who fought so hopelessly against us. And we killed them, buying and selling the survivors and pretending to know everything. We pretended for years, while men reached out for help. While women cried, while children staggered in the mud, we were blind and deaf and hard as stone. The Jandar teachings never let us be guilty. Until that day on the beach of the Darkling Plain when the Jandar screamed in rage. Tell me about the dragon. He knew the Darkling battle was ours. He knew the sound to stay and the signal to fly. Yet all that day he remained in the cave, believing he had heard from a long way off the sound of a Jandar victory. The horn. We singled each triumph thought that threw the Kyanan River. We blew their ancient song. So when the Red One heard that music, he was sure the battle had won. But the Jandar were dying by the hundreds. There was an accident. Maybe. Maybe there are no accidents, sir. Only what must be. The horn was sounded by someone on the Darkling shore. But there was no Jandar victory. There was something else. Something human and free. Something fooled the dragon. Some say it fooled the Jandar too. And all at once we fell under the empty sky of the new age. And we did not see Rugha again. We have not seen him since. While the sun beat down. As the forest disappeared. As the rain turned to dust. We searched the sky for the red one. He did not come. When the last tree died, I went out to my garden and I called his name. I felt no answer. That's when I knew I was alone, and I would be alone forever. And now? Now we see that it was you that day with a darkling sea, or at least some name of you. Why did you undo me? It was an accident. Can stars unspell a destiny so quickly? Will Rugha name me? You ask me what is not known, and the lie is not the act of a friend. He is deep in the chambers of Araman. For years the Mirari servants have protected him from challenges like yours. The ancient beasts grow old, and his strength may be faltering. Nonetheless, the wise must fear him still. You must walk past them. Do go proudly. Do not let your need create you small, but let your lack of your courage. Be sure the dragon sees the sword. Call up your skills, then use the horn, for this is magic. Or when his ears fill with the kind of sound, ask for your name. Will Rukha kill me? He is waiting for you. And in these times, the dragons are no longer blind to justice. Will I kill him? There is an end to everything, even to what was once beyond time. Go quickly while you still can. You mean to tell me, after all that, all the miles we traveled, all the enemies we killed, all the people dying in our name, the place where we're going to be named is where we were initially supposed to be cured in the first place. We have to now go all the way back to Araman. Araman. Ah. Oh. Fuck it. Fuck it. Why not? Why not? Let's let's go. We'll all the way back to Araman. Sure. We'll, we'll go all the way back to where this whole adventure fucking started. Uh, well, the second place this was. Uh, where where the fuck are the fucking stairs? Where are the stairs? Oh, here they are. Oh my god. I <laughs> <laughs> it's a fucking joke. Tuxoman sends us all the way out to the to Port Said to find Krotowa. Krotowa dies. We come all the way here for a potential to get named. And when we finally get here, it's like, oh no, I gotta go all the way back to fucking Araman. Unfucking believable. Unfucking believable. Ah. Oh. oh. Irony. Thy cruel fucking mistress. 
Why are you such a bitch? The Stone of Names. It's that different from our role, but at the same time, it's just like the one in Guernia. It would be proper to stop and consider these knights. So many. And most were lost. Zaratas paid dearly for his empire. The old did. Look here. The whole family. Sometimes that happens. I wonder. Is there a king in all this world great enough to deserve a sacrifice like this one? That's not for us to decide. We are not kings. But if we were, sometimes the danger is enough to require it. How did you become a knight, Avakin? Through Phelan himself. A pledge, a quest. Nothing like this, though. Knights are made through small quests as well as great ones. They assembled all of Guernia and Phelan came down the castle steps. Then I moved forward. When Phelan looked out across the crowds of people, he said, Sir Avrakin, I and all of Guernia deem you the brightest and the most brave. You have been on our side in battle and by your noble service have increased the kingdom and its renown. Now I retain you forever forward as my knight. You may secure your own estates. Determine justice within those bounds. And may carry Guernia's shield and arms. Then I went up to the steps and took my sword and turned and showed everyone where my name had been carved into the roll. And I said, May I accomplish the vow I've made. May I serve well. May the knighthood make me deserving of the obligation it has granted me. Not yet, boy. But don't I say it well? You say it very well. Almost as well as I did. But there's still the palace. And Zarathus, that captain, the guard. Are we leaving anything out? Actually, you are. Let's see. The palace, Zarathus, the captain, the guard. And the name. Oh, that's right, the name. You're very funny. Let's go get your name. Let's go get your name indeed. Next time, I could just cut to when we're back in Araman and save you guys the trouble. However, there are some things I need to show you along the way. So next time on Slick Plays Aiden Chronicles... We begin the long trek back to Araman. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.